light bulb. Before the invention of the light bulb, illuminating the world after the sun went down was a messy, arduous, hazardous task. It took a bunch of candles or torches to fully light up a good-sized room, and oil lamps, while fairly effective, tended to leave a residue of soot on anything in their general vicinity. Englishman Sir Joseph Swan and American Thomas Edison both got it right around the same time, and within 25 years, millions of people around the world had installed electrical lighting in their homes. Light bulbs have a very simple structure. At the base, they have two metal contacts which connect to the ends of an electrical circuit. The metal contacts are attached to two stiff wires which are attached to a thin metal filament. The filament sits in the middle of the bulb held up by a glass mount. The wires and the filament are housed in a glass bulb which is filled with an inert gas such as argon. When the bulb is hooked up to a power supply, an electric current flows from one contact to the other through the wires and the tungsten filament. The tungsten is very thin and coiled to maximize resistance in the wire. When electricity meets resistance, it heats up the resistor. The tungsten gets to a temperature of about 4500 degrees Fahrenheit. This causes it to get white hot. It glows and glows quite brightly. Tungsten is used because it has very high melting point. The tungsten is encased in a bulb for good reason. Not only does it protect people and objects from the hot tungsten, it also keeps oxygen away from the hot metal which would make it immediately burn up. The bulb is usually filled with a low-pressure inert gas such as argon.